hello guys i'm back with another video um i'm going to be doing another manga haul um this manga haul is gonna encompass two months since um i didn't do um a haul for the month before last month which is um april so or i didn't do the one for march actually so this is sort of gonna encompass things for two months or so um i definitely do have a lot of things and i'm gonna start with manga first the first manga that I got, well, that I'm going to show you guys, is um, Look Back by Tatsuki Fujimoto. Recently, Tatsuki Fujimoto um, did another manga called Goodbye Eddie, I think? Um, I think that's what it's called. If I'm wrong, I'm just going to put the right name somewhere. But um, I can't wait till that actually gets a physical form. But yeah, Look Back, this is a really good, nice, and sweet story about an artist and you know Tatsuki Fujimoto does really well with tragic stories or thought-provoking one-off things and um I'll say yes I got it in Japanese and so um, that's what I do with most of my manga I get them in Japanese if you haven't um seen or re read um look back or goodbye Eddie um, I highly suggest you do um, I will never again. I said this before, but I will never. Um, what was I gonna say? I will never really suggest things like Fire Punch. Fire Punch is something very hard to suggest to someone getting into Tatsuki Fujimoto. Again, the art style. It's that scratchy art style that works so well with conveying emotion. But it, um, it's very cohesive and concise, and it can be cleaner here for like plainer moments, like day-to-day -day moments. And yeah, again, I really love this scratchiness. It, it doesn't come off as unrefined. It comes off like really like dynamic. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna spoil if you guys never read this. Um, you should know what the ending is. Um, really sad, bittersweet, but I like that type of stuff. So um, yeah, let's look back on to the next one. Um, I've been collecting this um, with you guys, and you've been watching me collect as time goes on, but... Blue Period! Yes, volumes 6 and 7. Um, is it 6 and 7 or 5 and 6? 5 and 6! <laughs> 5 and 6! Um, I think I'm going to collect this in um, sets of 2 until I fully get this, because unlike um, Look Back, which was like, I feel like, seven ninety nine, this is ten ninety nine. so... That's uh, a whole lot of money to waste to get just one volume of a manga. To be fair, this manga is very good, so I am willing to spend the money. Alright, all right. Um, Blue Period, again, still uh, an amazing um, manga. I think people need to realize that this is actually a seinen, so it's... It's apparently geared more towards adults you can tell by the size and you know the topics they go through is pretty um, you know heavy uh, again the art I did a you know an artist analysis of Tsubasa Yamaguchi's art so go check that out if you want to see a, a quick deep dive on what I think about her art and her art style Wow, this is a really good moment when they decide to draw each other naked in the mirror. This was a nice heart-to-heart -heart between these two characters. It's sort of an, in the end, um, it helps him with um, his art in the long run. But, um, again, another thing that I like that this um, manga talks about is that art. Doing art is a physically taxing thing. Some people just think that we're just moving our hands and such, but... You'll be amazed how if you're slouched over, moving your hands, drawing, after that, after like a good five hours of doing that, you will be drained. Also, best girl, I love her. I need I need her to reunite with the main character. I mean for like for God's sake, he imagines her when he's on him, he was um sort of getting sick. But it's just um this guy. To be fair, they both have a good relationship too. Yeah, this is just the second part of the the exam to get into Tokyo University of the Arts. Yeah, like I also like how they convey pain.
paintings really well in the manga format. And also they get really good lessons on value and relative value here too, with light and shadow. Okay, yeah. Blue period. I think, yeah, I said it before, but this is an artist's an artist's manga. If you're an artist, I definitely I recommend you get this. So yeah, on to the next one. Alright, so the next volume, uh, or the next set of manga is going to be Blue Lock Volumes 1 to 6. Now, Blue Lock is going to get an anime soon. Um, oh, if you could hear something outside, I'm sorry. Um, people be playing music outside this apartment, so I apologize in advance. Ah, God, this is plastic wrap. The hardest part, but yeah, Blue Lock. Um, I would say it's the. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be the next big sports thing. I don't know if it's gonna, you know, blow up, so to speak. Oh my god, that's weird. Okay, no, not not not. It's not. But um, I'm looking forward to when the anime of this drops because it is very intense. Um, people like to compare this or compare sports anime to things like Kuroko no Basket and I'll say right now it's not a feat to be better than Kuroko no Basket it's um there's a lot of things that could be better than Kuroko no Basket honestly which is on just technically basketball with powers what Kuroko no Basket for me was was um it was um nice junk food to say the least Ah, I like this character. Nagi, he is an absolute beast. I, I love it any, every time he plays. I'm not even into sports. I'm an artist. Um, but it's funny how sports manga just, like, sucks you in. It's that direct competitive nature of sports that um, does really well as a shonen or a manga format. And yes, I will eventually be looking at this guy's artwork too. I forgot his name. I'm gonna put his name somewhere here. But um, I'm gonna eventually look at it. Yeah, but Blue Lock, it's sort of like prison soccer. And um, I know that um, Blue Lock is sometimes considered to be a polarizing sports or soccer or manga, considering that all these people are literally told to be selfish ball, um, ball hogs. And. Um, usually in the in a sports game or like a, a game in which teamwork is necessary um, This would be the last thing you'd want any of your teammates to be thinking to just hog the ball and claim points or scores for yourself But um, I could that, that, that again. I could see why people would not like this Me, um, I eat this. I eat this shit up. I'm sorry <laughs> It's um really Addicting to see um, how all these characters play off each other and this um this manga has so much splash pages of people kicking the ball into the goal. Um, let me not go too deep into the volume since um I do wanna sort of try not to spoil too much, but um currently where we are is um it's very intense. Um I love this character. Is this is uh, Baro, the king? Yeah, this is Borrow the King. And um, I like how each character, like, well, not each character, there's some characters that don't get as much development, but you sort of, like, see how intense these people get when playing soccer. And um, intensity is a nice thing, too. Again, these spreads where you see them kick the ball, like, these, like, something like soccer or sports, it's good to have, like, perspective and foreshortening down. So yeah, um, yeah, this is a blue lock. Um, again, I think the anime is coming out very soon. I don't know who's animating it, but um, you better do a good job animating this because honestly, I can't. I just, I just can't deal with a terribly animated thing anymore. <laughs> this is Oh, Tokyo Avengers. I need to get that eventually. Um, yeah, yeah, like things like this, like shots like these. Like, this is really good. And it's littered all over this song manga. So, um, yeah. That was Blue Lock, volumes 1 through 
six um i would recommend it but i will definitely understand if people will not like this so um, yeah on to the next one so the next bit of books that i'm going to look at is more comic book based but um, starting out we're going to be looking at apple black by white manga himself or um well he's called white manga i forgot what his real name is i'll put it somewhere here but um yeah he's a youtuber too so if you want to you can subscribe to his channel i like how the pages are like black and like on the side too um it's nice to see um again black people like getting successful in the or at least in general american being successful in making manga um i've heard of radiant too i definitely need to collect radiant when i have the chance since that's from a french guy if i recall but um it's really good i love the art and again he has a youtube channel so if you want to see like his process or how he does things or how to even make manga you can always look at his videos no i just got this recently so i don't know too much of the story i do know like the main character like he has like this hand like i don't know if it has anything to do with magic or anything like that but it's it looks like comp it looks really compelling Again, the art's very, very good. Um, only, again, only have the first volume. I don't know if there's a second volume out or anything like that, but um, I'll definitely need to check it out and get more as it comes out from Saturday AM. Um, it, it, at Saturday AM, I was something I was going to consider at one point in my artistic career, but um, ultimately opted out of. Yes, you can follow his YouTube and Facebook if you want. So um, yeah, go check it out. Apple Black on to the next comic book all right so the next comic book i'm gonna be looking at is betty and veronica by adam hughes another artist i did an artist analysis on um i love his art style it's very clean um i'm collecting comics recently too because um the anime art style sort of grows stale once in a while and um i also like the way comic books do <clears throat> certain things like um for like paneling and bubbling like you don't see manga do this back and forth thing at least um i don't think they do that um often like connecting speech bubbles like this like and the art is very good you don't really see adam hughes really make comic books he usually is unrelegated to single illustrations or comic book covers and um, again, with comic books, um, it's usually not one guy doing everything. Um, Adam Hughes, as far as I'm concerned, he only did the um, pencils, I think. Um, do they say here? Um, uh, no, they do not. Um, did Adam Hughes did everything? Oh. No. Oh, okay. Because um, it's usually... One person does the... Oh my god, it's so loud outside. I'm so sorry. Okay, it quiet down. It got quiet, okay. Yeah, usually one person does the pencils, the inks, and the colors. But um, I know Adam Hughes did everything like this, but I think there was another person that did the colors um, for the comic. As opposed to manga, in which one person does everything. But um, yeah, it's just some Betty Veronica from that show called riverdale um whatever you think of it you can think of it personally i think it's sort of garbage i watched like the first two seasons and um didn't think it would continue but it did again i really love the art very very clean and, um, i think he did mainly this with copic markers traditionally and some digital edits but um yeah this was Betty and Veronica. Um, just a simple, thin comic. Nothing too crazy. But um, yeah, I'm collecting comic books now. Um, more American stuff, so look out for that. And speaking of which, that leads me to the next one. The next comic book I'm going to be looking at is... Oh, oh snap! Wonder Woman Earth 1 Volumes 1, 2... Oops, that's not 2. 2 and 3. Now, fun fact, Wonder Woman is in my top five favorite superheroes. Um, 
I think she is number five, honestly. There, um, but she's just a character that I really like. Um, and this artist, the way this artist does gutters and paneling, sometimes it's crazy. It's really aesthetically cool, but my god, this is sometimes hard to like. He does like stuff like this, and when it's like this, like with the board set, it's pretty cool and interesting. But sometimes, oh my god, he goes crazy with it. Sometimes it's hard to tell what's going on in the order of things. Again, sorry for the glare. Can't do it. I have terrible lighting. But it's like, like it's it's very cool. It's cool and straightforward like this, and has a nice double spread, double spread splash page to see the the environment. And yeah, like again, he does like really cool paneling. Sometimes it's basic as some panels, or if he uses like an aesthetic to really like this. Using like I guess this is the lasso she has, and using it as like a way to separate the panels. It's just I wish sometimes it you sort of get lost in all this information. Sometimes it gets too cluttered and too messy. But um, other than that, it's a bit um, straightforward. But yeah, this is sort of a reimagining of Wonder Woman's origin story. Um, in terms of the art, I do like the art. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's the story that I sort of don't care about, honestly. Um, and the thing is, the beauty with comic books, you can sort of get away with doing different stories with different sorts of reimaginations or like re like iterations. Like they made Steve Trevor a black guy. Um, I w sort of do and don't care since again, comic books lend themselves for different iterations of different characters but uh, this is this is uh, this is something else yeah um uh, also i like my comic books add like a last bit of like sketches again i live for pages like this to see it behind the scenes the artist's thought process is this a 3d model oh i think it is okay by the way this is not cheating you could do that as an artist you're given that ability yeah just some like asset design some cover concepts too until ultimately he decided to stick with one again it's these things we, like again most people see the final finished product you don't really see the steps the artist takes to get through these and i like this because it's these little things that um, i like to see it's the artist yeah the artist is um Yannick Paquette, Paquette, and I think um, Grant Morrison is the writer. But yeah, I have all the volumes. I think it's on. It's only a three-volume story. Earth One. Again, I think Earth One is just just means some, uh, like a reimagination or not a reboot per se. I don't think you can ever reboot a comic. Or maybe you can. I don't know. I'm not that well versed in comics anymore. But um, yeah. This is Wonder Woman. And yeah, this is all for that I have for manga and comics. Next is going to be art books. So let's get to that. Okay, so the first technical art book that I have is Figure Drawing Design and Invention by Michael Hampton. Now, you've probably seen this art book all over the place. It's just because it's that good. Um, it basically just goes over like some basic like you know they go over like gesture drawing and what i like is the visual application it has like you see like how basically all the assets are drawn as if in a really sketchy believable sort of sense like like oh well, i would definitely like this it's not as simple as an anatomy book i would say um because it doesn't really talk about anatomy that much it does talk about how the spine has like three segments and it goes to like you know to the head to the pel um, to the rib cage to the pelvis and how the angles work but it doesn't um bore you or weigh you down with like the technicalities of the muscle groups or the bone names it talks about like um, things like center of balance and like these angles yeah this is a really really good book to look at it doesn't it doesn't um flood you with information um just basic like constructions like it's best to you know always break down the human body into like basic shapes like either 
boxes or cubes and then you buy those out into the pel um, to the pelvis and rib cage and again construction i need to do a video um, eventually about how about why construction matters and perspective too because um this is a really good idea showing how perspective and foreshortening and how it affects the figure because in reality everything always no matter what is in perspective yeah oh, i like this and like these these sketches i think these are done digitally if i'm not mistaken or maybe scanned but i um, definitely get this book and again um classic loomis-esque method everything if you're going to learn how to draw the head it's most likely going to be derived with the ball um and then like you know divide into thirds with the hairline um brow line bottom of the nose chin and subdivisions at this point if you're an artist it's almost a constant stable to know these proportions and like how the head the head is divided amongst these segments um yeah definitely get this book honestly this is it goes over everything but not in an annoying way if that makes sense like not like showing diagrams of oh this is the you know the sternocleidal mastoid muscle um this is the um collarbone this is the sternum like they're not giving all these names that you're probably not gonna want to remember but um yeah figure drawing design invention really good book get it if you can on to the next art book. Okay, going back to comics, um, I have the, the DC Guide to Creating Comics Inside the Art and Visual Storytelling by Carl Potts. Carl Potts, forward by Jim Lee. Now, as someone that likes, again, I like manga, I like anime, I like the Japanese media, but I do feel like it's somewhat necessary to also get understanding of western comic book making and me ideally i'm trying i want to get a fusion of the styles because i feel like um i feel like the issues that both anime manga and comics are like in their own boxes but when and ideally both sides can enhance each other hence why i'm, I'm not only getting manga or how to draw manga as scarf books um it helps to get the you know western like the western influence in your head and your art style too <laughs> oh yeah she was like sequential art the, the essentials to sequential art which is what comics are talks about paneling i like how things go over the gutters comics don't do this often i realize comics don't really have things going over the gutters as much as a manga does sizes yeah but i'll say some comic books are a bit boring with their paneling it's like so straightforward oh, like, okay yeah overlap panels types of shots hence why i don't think um if i were to be a comic book artist I, there's a lot more i need to learn like it is very difficult like the amount of things you need to learn I will say, um, for people that like manga, getting into the comic book art style is going to be very annoying. Like, sometimes it's either too realistic or the characters could look too ugly, but um, I will implore you. Well, actually, I'm not going to implore you. You could do it if you want, honestly. Um, you could do whatever you want. But um, for me personally, uh, for my artistic journey and goal, learning um, comics and the Western medium uh, alongside manga is something that uh, will help me i think in my artistic journey on to the next one okay next art book um is um what is it called <laughs> colorful dreams by volfan um, i got this book a long time ago but um I, I i'm only recently showing with you guys i wish i kept it in the plastic but um, yeah, got it at Kino Knew, $24.95, not too bad, actually, eh, it's pretty thin, but um, it's not too bad. Vofan, the original character, designer, and artist for the Black and Monogatari series. Is Vofan better than Ograte? That's up to you. Personally, I think these these two artists, Ograte and Vofan, they both do something really well in terms of it for the Black and Monogatari franchise series media like 
it's like everything's painted very well. There's no real lines, and I, I enjoy painterly styles, honestly, if you already know me and the channel. Um, one thing I um, sort of regret about this art book, or something I, I wish this art book had, was just some like more art from the Rocket Mountain Guitar like, covers. But I think these are like original illustrations, if I'm not mistaken. And I think these are like mini stories. I don't know if um, I have not taken the time to sit down and read this, but um, I definitely after this video I'm going to since I'm, I have the books out. Like like how painterly and loose these are. Like look at the Christmas tree in the back. These are technically just sweeping brush strokes, but it does enough to convey what it is, and it's good enough because it's not really the main focus. It's her, but even then she's sort of rendered like simply, but it's rendered enough that we sort of accept that there's no need to go too deep into details honestly but sometimes it's the devil there's those little details in the rain droplets that really come together in the piece even like these um statues here it's simple but not simplistic if that makes sense of the painting the colors some some areas do a bit look a bit like um you know unrefined i would say like this hand but again that like all this um it's what's my what's it's what it's what's in focus that matters if that makes sense i love this this guy's head to body it's like oh, <laughs> oh i really like this lighting effect if it's bright in the background you're gonna see many shadow here but the rim lights too there's a light in the background you can tell that this artist knows what he's doing. That's the main point. Again, here too. Light background, but shadow in the foreground and the figure. But only the rim lights sort of highlighting at the side here. It's those little things. To be fair, this chair is supposed to be in shadow a bit too, but that's fine, honestly. Whoa, 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 what do I know? Oh, this is a really good fisheye lens too. Oh, this is very good. Oh, whoa. Oh my god, this is also really nice too. Like the nice like blur effect in the background. This is just an amazing art book now that I'm looking at this again. <laughs> but um yeah. This is Colorful Dreams. Sorry for the glare. From Vofan. Really good artist. An artist that I will look at eventually. I don't know when, but they're on on Vofan's on the list. Okay, the final art book I'm gonna be looking at. Because I just got this today. Um Bleach Brave Souls official artwork. I'm sorry to the friend that um, I said that I wasn't gonna get this, but um, I caved in. I had to get it. This was um, $66.99 um, or $74, but with tax included. This killed me. I did not want to get this because um, I didn't want to waste money on something that I may not like. But um, I caved. <laughs> I ended up really wanting to get this book because I saw um, some of the art arts like designs in it and um, I don't play this game honestly I don't play phone mobile games like this honestly but um anything to see more artwork from Taite Kubo and Bleach his finest orc if you know where that phrase is from comment down below okay so we have Ichigo half in the thousand year blood war his regular Shikai and Bankai yeah, the final gets the Tensho. Um, this is when he gets his powers back. I don't want to. Should I spoil? I don't. I don't think I should spoil too much, but um, I should just go through. <laughs> um, what is your opinions on Bleach, guys? Because um, I love make um, I like messing with my friends and saying Bleach is trash. Um, and I say that mainly, ironically, or he may. What I like is um. These designs that you don't see in the anime or manga. Um, and it's the reason why I ultimately decided to get this. Because as much as I don't think Bleach is the best thing out there. Because again, I do think it's fun to make fun of Bleach. <laughs> Especially <laughs> to my friends. But um, it's these arts, um, the artwork that you don't see. Like, like game exclusive stuff. Like things like this. Like... Uh, uh, what I wish this had though, um, what I wish, wish this had more of, is um, more 
I guess, sketches or behind the scenes work. Let me see if it has it, actually. Let me skip. Also, like, the fact that they had, um, designs from the filler arc, like, from the Zompok to Rebellion arc, that is a really nice touch. Like, I, when the arc for the Zompok to Rebellion, I thought these designs were just gonna come and go, but the fact that they stayed, um, really nice touch, because I did like those designs. We have Ron Kiku, Kenpachi, oh my god. When the anime comes out again, oh, Mayuri. Oh, the Thousand Year Blood, um, Thousand Year Blood War, that arc's gonna go crazy. Oh, we have the, oh my god, the Zero Division. Ooh. If you want to, if you want to see the definition of wasted potential, look no farther than these guys. Uh, why? Okay, so they do sort of have some concept things. Yeah, uh, uh, it's not really what I want, though. Oh, we have the Espada. Well, let me go to the very end to see if there's anything like uh, Yuha Baha. That's how it's called. Yuha, Yuha Baha. Are you a Bach, I guess? Uh, we got the Stern Ritters. Yeah. I wish, um, I just wish that not, I wish the, not only did the Spada have white on, these guys also had white on. I wish they sort of changed it up, I guess. I guess, I, I guess the Fullbringers were sort of like the winding down before the Stern Ritters, but, you know. Ah, oh, Burn the Witch. When is this going to be? Like officially a thing. Did the anime come out on just being dumb? I don't remember. I need to look if Part of the Witch is officially a thing. Oh, I wish they had more of this stuff here. They needed more concept art stuff. Like more sketches, but this is it. This is the end. Like, hold on. I guess this is alright. This is just some more like things like this. Because I, I eat this stuff up. And again, exclusive forms that you've never seen in the anime or manga, but only in this game, which I'm, I'm still not going to get, but I like seeing the artwork. Especially for the Espada, since the Espada was like, one of the more fun things in Bleach. But um, yeah, this is it, this is the last thing I have from the last two months. Um, yeah, thank you for watching this video, I will be getting more things, more manga, more comic books more um, art books um just know again it's a huge money sink like this again this was like until like 74 dollars including tax and i'm like bills have to be paid meaning rent and other things so i can't really do this every month maybe every two months or if i do accumulate some art books in the month i'll do it at the end of that month so yeah thank you for watching i will do more art videos um i'm still working on the artist analysis for gege akutami so I don't know when it's gonna come out, just know that that's what I'm going to be doing next for the next artist. Um, I might do some quick art videos to, just to pump up because again, I feel like I've been talking about art but not really doing art that much. So again, I might just do some sketch with me or speed paints or some drawing or painting videos in the future or in the near future. Oops, that's a ringing bell. All right, that's my cue. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.